Hi, this is Federico with Cuddle, and this is a quick video answering a question about how to split a shape in two. The question in particular is because if the shape is too big to cut on your laser cutter, you might want to split it into shapes that you assemble later. So I have an example shape here that is like 16 inches long, which is probably too big for a laser cutter, and I want to separate it in two. So I'm going to have my single shape in a single component. This is where components are really useful in Cuddle. And then I'm going to create a new component that I'm going to call the split. And here I want to drag two instances of my main shape. So I'm going to grab one and then uh, another one. And I'm going to be careful to place them on the horizontal axis. And then I want to grab a rectangle that is big enough to cover half of the shape. So I'm going to be careful to uh, drag it from the point here and make sure it snaps to that uh, horizontal axis. And I'm going to grab another rectangle, the same size, and I'm going to also snap it below that horizontal x-axis. So now uh, I'm going to apply a modifier. Uh, so I'm going to select just these two shapes, go to the modify menu, and apply the Boolean difference. So that kind of chops off the top of the shape. And on this one, I'm also going to apply the Boolean difference. So I chop off the bottom of the, of the shape. So now I have the two shapes that can be cut separately and can be assembled together like this. The convenient thing about doing it this way is that now I can make sh changes to the original shape and they should still work. So let's go back to that original component and let's say I change this star for something else. Um, let's grab like a circle. So let's make it uh, roughly the same size. delete the star. And so if I go back to my split, you can see how the circle is there and the heart is at the bottom. So that works well. And of course, you can do this kind of thing with any arbitrary SVG. So let's move over to a different project so I can show you. I'm going to import uh, an SVG file into here. So I'm going to go to import, grab this uh, laser file. I'm going to place it here on the center. And I'm going to quickly rename it the shape. And I'm going to try and do the same thing. So I'm going to create a new component that's going to be my split. And I'm going to grab two instances of the same shape in place. And this time, I'm going to do it on the vertical axis, just to show a different example. So similarly, I'm going to grab a rectangle, um, size it so it works well, covering half of the shape. I'm going to place it, making sure it snaps to the vertical axis. Then I can actually right click and duplicate it and now grab it from the point and then make sure it snaps again to that axis. And in this case, I can go ahead and apply the Boolean um, difference on this one and the Boolean difference as well. So now I have the two halves of my lizard. Um, but it occurs to me that sometimes you might want to use a sort of arbitrary shape so let's try a different example that doesn't use the vertical or the horizontal axis. So let's try this other one. I'm going to grab another instance of the same shape. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a different thing other than a rectangle. So I'm going to grab, say, this award seal, which seems to have a different edge. So I'm going to place it uh, like so. So it's kind of uh, cutting the tail and leaving uh, this sort of edge. So. I'm going to duplicate these uh, two shapes. So I'm going to right click and hit duplicate. And I'm going to move it down a little bit. And on the top shape, I'm going to apply the same modifier I applied before. So I'm going to use the Boolean difference. So that uh, kind of chops off the tail. But on the bottom shape, I'm going to apply a different modifier. I'm going to apply the Boolean intersect. So that leaves the tail. Whatever is intersecting the award seal and the tail is what remains. Mm -hmm. So the interesting thing about this one is that I use this kind of arbitrary edge that now should kind of fit like a puzzle piece onto my shape when I cut it. So anyway, I hope these are some helpful tips to help you split shapes in many different ways. And thank you so much for submitting the question.